Oh, good. Okay. So, a bit new today is Carlos' new tango tunes, which will show up in our film Saturdays and longer. Right, so today we'll be the class cover, foot hot shows, going into Bocardas, and then I'll add in uh, leg of ganchos to the Bocarda, and then finally coming out with a uh, lift using an old card edition and a gancho. So, we start off by leaving the front. Uh, for the uh, front watcher. So we come and sail onto the knee's left foot, uh, follow the right. We twist the knee's chest to the right, which is the pivot still around. As we do this, we change the weight onto our right foot. This leads us naturally into a side step with the left, and the lady steps forward with her left foot, so we're in the process of walking. I pivot my chest around, giving her time to pivot. We end around, side step, pivot, Side step pivot. We land variations this by changing the size of the side step and the speed of which we pivot. So we can go pivot slowly, fast side, quick throughout, slow throughout, and then you variation on this. And we can change the size and take bigger side steps or smaller side steps. From this, we've got in a variation of adding in planeos or uh, leg sweeps. So as we go into the ocho, I drop my weight down, which means that the follower gets stuck in this position. I have to pivot to around the leg or sweep around. If I to keep myself low, she will do sweeps in both ways, and I've always to stick my legs in and get decorations out of it. If I pivot it low and then come up high, she will come up. We then use this to build up a into a whole card position. So we start off with the front arch shirt. Going into the planeo, bringing the leg around, as we as we the around, I put my right foot to my left, then as she comes into me, I've got her really well supported, I'm going to step back with my left, bring my right foot up in front of my left foot, which then leads her space, so as I step back or step forward, she comes through and translates into a cross on her front leg, and then bring her around, and we've got four colours here. We then look to add in uh, gan uh, gancho into this position. So, front archo planeo, well, card of position as she comes around. Instead of me moving my foot in front here, I'm going to leave my right leg where it is and lift it up. And we've got the gancho hook in both card position. And then I can send it back, or I can bring it straight back through and into the wrong position. What we actually ended up doing was taking it back behind. Stepping here and got this little decoration here, which allows us to move into a second one of these four cards. So it's very similar to an ocho position, so you can do this from this style of ocho as well. Bringing her around, move my leg out of the way. This is almost like a green, just put into the cross, which means my foot is in the right position then. So when she brings the next leg around, I've got the gancho on the other side with my right foot. And again, the hook through, and again, we can get decorations in and ganchos on both sides. We can build, uh, build these in uh, with combinations. But finally, what we looked at was the option of putting this last hook onto the right leg with the left leg into a small lift. It's more almost like a jump, but uh, the leader isn't jumping. It's the impression that she's jumping, but the man's actually giving her momentum up, which is going to lift her. So we went into the front of the show, bring around the nail into this gancho with the right foot hooking around, bringing her around, and as I'm bringing her around, I'm going to lower my weight down and also centre my weight between the two feet, so I'm in a strong position. And I'm going down slightly lower than I would normally do, which is going to give me the spring on the way up. As the leg comes around, I'm going to lift myself up, which brings the leg up, and I've got the hook from before, so I can go down, up, hook, and then just bring it out. And then finally, we didn't teach this, but we showed it. It's the idea of doing Volcada Gancho walks where we can go into the Volcada position, hook the leg, and then start walking backwards, bringing these hooks in and then moving around the floor in this position. Takes a bit of practice to do and a lot of confidence in the park, but it's possible. And that was today's class. Great.